good morning. Oh, one day he'll be able to say good morning. Temperature has dropped. I mean, we are up early on a Sunday because we're off to the market. We're going to show you the market. But uh, this is what we look like in clothes. <laughs> We've had a whole month of wearing no clothes because it's been so hot. So we're going to show you around the market. Stay tuned. <laughs> where the market is so I'm just going to pop up the name on the screen there so you can google that and uh, have a guess at pronouncing that one not sure I know how <laughs> we're just going to pull in here we've got a sneaky car spot which is outside of the market which enables us to park away from all the other people and just a little walk across the bridge across the river into it so we'll show you that so we uh, we ended up coming last weekend and it, it was closed. We couldn't believe it. Like the whole of summer it's been so busy. So we thought we'd come again this Sunday. And there's Lee riding a flag, obviously. And it's tiny now. So we it was a bank holiday last weekend and we thought, oh, maybe it uh, was a, not on. So we came this weekend and there's a few stalls so you'll see us walking around but usually the market starts from this point and it's a whole mile long on this road and all the way around the village and it's got a mixture of sort of car boot stalls, people coming down selling vintage wares. It's got proper market stalls as in your fabrics, uh, kitchenware, you know, sort of new products, but cheap. There's myself and Hudson. Cheeky chappy as always. And also farmer's market. So what there is today, which we'll show you around, is pretty much uh, chickens, as you can see here on the right. We've got chickens, geese and uh, pigeons. But actually there's normally tons and tons of animals here. So it's really like, not even a twentieth of the capacity of what it normally is. But there's some chickens in the cages as you go round. There's some geezers sat there with their produce. I felt really nervous filming this bit because I suddenly thought, oh God, what if they think I'm some kind of animal rights activist and I'm, I'm here to, I don't know, send this footage to Peter or something. But obviously they're only in the cages as they're being sold. Uh, the chickens that we've got, they're such good condition. They're really happy birds, you know, they're all really healthy. And then as we come round here, you'll start to see that we've got more of the, the produce section. So we'll probably speed up the rest of this video just so you can see the rest of uh, the produce. Just get a feel, it's quite a nice little village. There's a fountain in the middle of it. Uh, but as I say, it's not, not, not the best now, which is such a shame. Like, throughout the whole of August, it's been so hot. Like, we've had to come at like 8 in the morning, even earlier, just to, so it's not too hot. And then now it's perfect weather and there's nobody there. But uh, anyway, this is sort of a typical Sunday morning for us. <laughs>
Okay, hello, we're back. Smile is back. It's gone really hot again. It's probably 30 plus log area today. So, um, part of this video has obviously been showing you our typical Sunday morning. And then we just thought we'd just do an update on where we're at with the house and the extension. So if you look above me, you'll see these beams here. So Lee was just slightly concerned that when we add tile to the roof, that there might be just a little bit too much weight for the width of this roof that we've got here. So he's put in this structure that you see comes across and then with these three supports is supporting the roof there. So now we'll probably keep those exposed obviously when we, and it'd be a nice place to hang lights from. So that's sort of extra support for the roof. That's what he was working on. And you know, really he's done all this. I haven't even helped him lift a single thing. So he's done such a good job there. And as usual, we're a bit messy, but we've had a bit of a clear out. And here finally Lee has built in, um, as you can see, just some structure to cover up. I don't know if you remember from the existing videos, but this was just layers upon layers of concrete steps, all different heights, an absolute death trap. So he's built a proper platform here, so we can at least now walk to the bedroom a little bit safer. Obviously this is gonna be tiled, but we want to finish that once this roof is finished. So we haven't got rain for another week, which gives us time to finish this roof, so then we can get, um, Obviously rain, rain won't come on here. And this is going to be potentially, this is, we've had a major rethink of everything as per usual. So before the kitchen was gonna be down there, future, future kitchen. And I, I had a big think with Lee and I said, you know what, I don't, as much as it would be the most glorious kitchen in the world, I don't wanna be like down there and away from everyone. I really wanna have that kind of big family room and <laughs> you're all funny, big family room. I want to be able to cook and see the boys. So I said, look, I would love for the kitchen to be in this room. It makes so much sense. But we were like, well, how are we going to fit kitchen and dining in this room? And Lee said, well, why don't he came up with the idea? What we're going to do is we're no longer going to have a staircase running up here. We're going to completely take the staircase inside the house. So what we'll do, excuse the mess, we're gonna have a staircase now come inside up to the stairs. Sorry, I'm wobbling because Hudson's grabbing the camera. Which means that then here I will have a kitchen. So I will stand here in my oven, have a little island. We'll have a dining table there. This is gonna be like a coffee bar, drinks area. This is going to be a fish tank, because Lee loves his fish, but it might be a bit of a showstopper. And then in here will be a utility, sort of fridge, freezer, sink, larder. So I will be able to be, this will be blocked up in a little kitchen here, and just be able to go through between the sort of functional room and the nice big open space. So as a family, I can be standing here cooking, the boys can be at the table here, working or listening to music and we're going to knock that through and make it open to the snug lounge so it'll feel a little bit more like a open plan living area so i hope that's clear and to be fair our kitchen has moved about five times on this property since we bought it but i feel like this is the, the best decision now it's going to make a lot of sense for the space and for us to be together and uh your smile's just mesmerising. <laughs> it's like he knows he's on camera. So yeah, but uh, we'll give you an update as we go along.